I came in with my ex like Selena, the flex, eh. Bumping Justin Bieber, the fever ain't left, eh. She know what she need, or I need, or she bless, eh. Giving me my best, eh. Yeah, I got my heart, I'ma say it with a knife. My back, what's with that, eh? 21, I love him, then my brother, that's where sat, eh. Bet you made the beat, so you know that it's gon' slap, eh. Yeah, it's gon' slap, eh. This is my ultimate car collection in GTA 5 for 2023. Last year's video was the best performing video of my whole entire time on YouTube and I absolutely appreciate every single one of you guys who's watched it all, commented, liked, got some inspiration. It really means a lot. It grew the channel so much over a span of three months and we gained a whole bunch of new viewers and I want to say welcome to all of you guys and thank you guys for sticking around. Literally 95% of the comments on last year's car collection tour video were positive. I just want to address like the 5% of the comments. There were some people saying how their collection is 750 mil, um, claiming that I need to get more money. And sure, that's you can tell me, leave in the comment down below, tell me how much your collection is worth if you even want to go uh, calculate it. But I'm not claiming that I was the richest person or wealthiest person. So wherever you read that in all the whole video in the description in the title and it's going over your head because people like to calculate how much their garage is worth and just see how much they spend just for fun that's something that people do and it doesn't take much brain power to realize that nope not one i don't do glitched or do f on a c got back on last year and you made 1.5 bill in five months this is my fourth character after taking the okay shut up bitch yeah, we're here in Eclipse Tower, so we're gonna start here. Um, you know, kind of just like skim through the cars. Still, all these are not really touched. My Ford GT with like the HRE kind of polish wheels, my Ram 1500, my Racer Eclipse. Haven't driven that often, even when I when I first bought it, I haven't driven it at all. Uh, my Peyote, I kept this pink color, the Flamingo Pink. If you guys watched the Willard Eudora video. I was debating to either change this to the Miami blue or keep this flamingo pink. Um, then my R32 wagon, the Stratum, haven't really driven it, although I do love how it looks. So I should take it out more often once I play more. Uh, my Bel Air and the Akusuka 2000 GTR with the Fujiwara wheels. Uh, no window tint because I, I think one of you guys on last year's video commented that I'm obsessed with window tint, which I literally agree as well. I like this, I'll do because most of it's black. Um, but my other cars, yeah, like classic cars, I kind of, kind of like this, older retro cars. I kind of want it to have that realistic look. So appreciate that feedback. The darkest tint I've done is probably like semi uh, window tint, like the second option. Um, but yeah, that's my Eclipse Towers garage. So let's move on. All right, so we are on to the next garage. This is my classic, uh, sports classic garage which is probably one of my favorite out of all my garages. Um, but yeah, we can start here. So my penetrator, I made it a Jaguar XJ220 S, uh, specifically the TWR with the rear wing. And I just changed it from a real life spec. The only TWR I saw in real life, one of six, is a yellow one. And I just changed it to an even better spec, no offense to that owner, um, that I found online on Instagram throughout the year few times um in silverstone green so i'm like you know what? i'm doing that it's such a nice spec and silverstone green and the tan interior but this car you can't change the interior color so I just have to deal with it with black uh and then i think these are the cosmo wheels in the tuner class um here's my jb yeah jb 700w my diablo the infernus classic still have it in viola se30 uh the purple diablo color in white interior as well and stock wheels here's my 250 gto and i believe i made this uh tour de france blue uh and then fit perfectly because there was a french livery 
French racing livery. I just love how this car looks. I changed this from cream to flamingo pink um, to get more of that Vice City feel. So this is, I think, salmon pink with like silver pearlescent and deep dish wheels with white interior. Love how it looked. You guys probably saw it in the intro. We'll edit, by the way, did you guys like that intro? Let me know in the comments down below. Kind of took me a while to make. This one I made the, uh, yeah, Sterling GT. Uh, this is supposed to be the SLR Sterling Moss, but this is supposed to be the Sterling Moss 722 because that was a number that he had. Uh, my Wolf of Wall Street Countach haven't really touched. Same with this, the Tornado Rat Rod haven't touched. Uh, this is probably in the top three of my favorite cars in this garage. My Nardo F40 Competizione. Last year I had it in Rosso Corsa. And ever since I went to Florida last year, I, um, it was like one of the last few days I was in Florida for, and I went to a dealership that same one I went to a few years ago, and they had this 101 F40 Nardo Gray Competizione there in Florida. And I think either a week before that or a week after, it got auctioned. Yeah, I just recreated that and I love how it turned out. And then my Bugatti Atlantique, the Z-Type, I haven't touched that. Um, but yeah, that's my classic car garage. If I go through a car that you want to know more about or you guys want to know the hex code for it, I'll try my best to find it because I don't keep these hex codes. I kind of just go through it and then check and then boom, okay, it's good. And then I go into the next one. I'll leave in the comment down below if you ask for it. Um, but yeah, it's my classic car garage. So let's move on to the next one. All right. So this is the next garage this is my Cayo Perico garage. I moved these two go-karts from my sports car garage in Maze Bank into here because these came out in the Cayo Perico heist. Everything else is still the same though. My Herbie Beetle, Drag Beetle, uh, my little Fiat, the Bariso 500 or 300, uh, my Slams Beach Buggy, um, Beetle. With the turbo fans in white, that's the only mod difference I think I changed from last year. And then my Willy Jeep, I have not touched and not the greatest forming, but I think it was free. So that's a plus. Anyways, that's that. So let's move on. All right. So this is the next garage. This is, if you guys remember, this is my first house garage. I sorted all these cars. So this is my first supercar that I bought, or no, sports car actually. Yeah. This is the Dinka Jester. I have not touched it ever since. I kept it exactly like this look. And still to this day, I love how it came out. I would not change a thing on it. This is my RH8 um, in Grace Red with the TE37s. Haven't really done much modifications to it. Uh, my GC500 in Grabber Blue, Dominator. My Bot T801, super good for the weekly time trial. Um, easy 100k for this. I know some people they use cars, but I like using bikes. Um, this is a Ruiner. This is a, like the one where you can find at a certain time in front of Los Angeles Customs. This one I'm pretty sure I bought though and replicated it just because I couldn't find it for a little while. Uh, and then my Vaca. Haven't done much to this. Just kept it as a regular Gallardo. But yeah, that's that garage. Now let's move on. All right, so we are on to the next garage. This is my Los Santos Tuners DLC garage. Mainly just JDM uh, and one German and one American. But yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So this is my S13 uh, in like a vine or wine red. A91 edition Mark V Supra and Refractor Blue. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this video, make sure to go check it out. Love how it came out. My AE86 uh, made as initial D. Everyone made, made it like that, I feel like. My Dominator GTT as a Boss 302. Um, what else? My Coleco GTF. Uh, still don't have the like Castro livery, uh, our closest one in the game. This is like blue and red, but still has the swirls like it in real life. It's just, it's like 193, or level 193 you got. That's when you unlock it. And I'm only 90 something in the, the Carmi area. So I don't think I'm going to get it ever or anytime soon, at least here. I absolutely love how this came out. My slightly uh, aggressive S2K Roadster, the RT300, 3000 actually, this is zero. T37's closest I can get to it. Red interior, uh, semi-stripped, I guess. 
the fire extinguisher, the nitrous down the middle, uh, and then speedster uh, buttresses behind the seats with a small little wing. So absolutely love how this came out. Here's my 2020 RS3 in red, uh, my Drift RX7 and stock clean RX7. Both really cool drive. This one's not the greatest of drift, but this one overall, my Spear R uh, is pretty fun to drive and I love how it turned out. Uh, yeah, so that's my Tuner's DLC garage. Um, let's go on to the next one. All right, so this is the next garage. I'm still gonna add it because I think a few of you guys had a few questions um, on some of the bikes, colors and stuff like that, but this is my bike garage in the clubhouse. Um, I don't really drive bikes too often, honestly. I do have them obviously right here, but I still got, I think, one more space or two more spaces. I think there's one more space. And yeah, this one's supposed to be like the Ducati Lamborghini uh, crossover bike. I forgot what it's called, but it's basically the same spec as the launch spec of the Sion. Um, so this and my actual Sion are really identical. Same as that. Um, and then this is like the free ATV that we got during Kai Perico time. I uh, moved that from my Kyle Perico garage into here. But uh, yeah, nothing much else to say. All right, so we're moving on to the next garage. So this next one is, before we go inside, just right outside of this area, so on the map. I'm on like the uh, east side of the city, next to the LA River. That's where I got like my auto shop, uh, another garage, uh, my JDM -like garage, and then this garage, and my classic car garage, all in this one area. And it's pretty nice because it's all around Los Santos Customs. Um, and yeah, that's what I kind of recommend. If you're running out of space, buy one of these like cheap garages. These 10 car garages are probably like 100K, 200K and find like a good location as well in the city near uh, Los Santos Customs. But yeah, this is my off-road garage. So this is brand new from last year. I just decided to throw all of these in. So I made more room in the other garages. Uh, so this is where I got my Camacho, my Insurgent, my 6x6. Um, this new one, the Draugr, made it to look like the uh, Chevrolet like concept car at SEMA that one year. Got my APC, I changed that up a little bit, but still don't use it that often. My Mesa as a trail cat, my Night Shark, um, this, my Hummer H1 mil spec, the Patriot mil spec, I should say. I love how like the customization on that was pretty good to do um and every time i see it i'm always like i should have made a video on it because this would have been a lot of fun to do uh and then this one the was a k5 blazer one of you guys uh pointed out on the previous video because i think i was saying i always thought it was a bronco just because like the off set coloring so like that's so i just made it more like a k5 blazer so i think it's a little better but you guys need to be the judge in the comments down below if it's a little more accurate uh, and then this is my new well always had the Kara Kara 4x4 but change it up from the regular Raptor to the Raptor R uh, launch spec I actually saw one two three weeks ago in real life um, and this is exact spec so it was like a grayish I'm not too sure the name from Ford though but, but yeah that's my off-road garage so let's continue all right so the next garage is the Maze Bank garage for my supercars so Without further ado, let's get started. So my 600 LT, this is the Itali GTB. I originally had it as the custom one from Benny's with a wide body, but I didn't really like the way it was for a few years. It was the same black or gray with uh, like gold wheels. So I always wanted it to be a 570 uh, or 620R or 600 LT. But out of all those three, I like the 600 LT the most. So, and I was able to kind of recreate it with this. So, um, then my F1 LM, always loved how this turned out. My FMJ as a Ford GT and Ford Performance Blue. Um, this I changed from the Agera RS, the Entity XXR. I always had it as the world record edition with like the, in like a dark red. Uh, but now I changed it as a one-to-one -one cause I think that's what it's supposed to be based on. So I couldn't do the orange secondary paint, but like pinstriping. So I just kept it the gray, my Banshee 900R and my 811 I haven't really touched. All right. So here on the second floor, um, I guess we could start right here. So this is my Huracan Super Trofeo kit, um, uh, street build. I got my Hennessy Venom F5 in like a dark blue with 
a dark brown interior. Uh, my T20 as a P1 in Volcano Orange. My Sultan RS, haven't done much really ever since I customized it that one time. Um, just did white wheels. Uh, my Reaper as a Lycan Hypersport, haven't done much to it. And my two Wyras, um, or my Osiris's, one in like a dark purple uh, with gold wheels. And my Mini Koshpin Hermes edition uh, in like the chocolate brown and the front splitter so now the third floor this is probably my favorite out of all three floors um because probably got the most customization as well but also the cars up here pretty nice selection so my zentorno i've changed that since last summer's dlc it came with new parts for i think like six cars of all the cars existing in the game and one of them was a zentorno so i changed the spoiler closer to the Sesto Elemento. Uh, I think the exhaust and maybe the rear diffuser, I can't remember. Um, side skirt, I don't think there were any. The front splitter I changed. It's a little more aggressive and pointier. Um, and then I did the matte glitch, the matte paint glitch, just to have that like satin look more realistic. My AMR Pro, the Wagner, and Asimar Racing Green with the big front splitter, the like acid green secondary color, and a big rear wing. Looks really aggressive. I love how this turned out. This is my Tyrant. Um, and like the base spec as the Apollo IE. Um, and then my two uh, La Ferraris or the Turismo Rs. So this is the other car that was also came with uh, upgraded parts last summer. Uh, so I made it like an FXXK Evo with white wheels. Uh, I forgot what color I was actually trying to do though, but it's like ultra blue. Um, did the white pinstriping livery. Yeah, the FXXK Evo wing, closest I can do. Uh, and then like a dual exhaust. But I love how this turned out. It looked really, really nice. And then this one, I always had my base spec, I should say, uh, LaFerrari or the Turismo R in Rosso Fuoco with the black roof. Uh, this one I had in my agency, but I moved that to here because I had space. This is the Tigon, Tigon, as a De Tomaso P72. I forget the color name of this, but came out really nice. Light blue, uh, real life spec like this as well. So I did this blue. And then my other Tempesta, kind of like an upgraded Performante. So yeah, that's my supercar garage in Maze Bank. So let's move on to my sports car garage in Maze Bank. All right, so this is the sports car garage in Maze Bank. So here we got my C7 ZR1 in Sebring Orange. Always had that uh, in this spec. Uh, my Common SR as a 997 GT2, I think it's supposed to be based on. I think I had this the same as last year. My GTC for Luso slash FF, as it's called again, Bestia GTS, yeah. Stock wheels look so good on this car. Uh, and then my R8, so we got the two new uh, V10 Plus R8s, one wide body and one stock. This one has a rear bumper delete with the twin turbos exhaust um, and a huge rear splitter. And this was just kind of like my more realistic street build um with the closest v10 plus wing that it has also in real life um and yeah i loved how they turned out and then my original 9f i didn't really do much customization on but i like how it looks just based like that and have them all next to each other so the second floor this one is my omnis forgot what's what it was called my s1 quattro um my neon and it's supposed to be nardo gray but it's a little darker so i'm gonna have to change that as a nardo gray Taycan turbo s uh, my lynx as an f type this is my sf90 uh with the assetto fiorano package with the white going down the middle I'm pretty sure too is supposed to be yellow or uh argento nurburgring as the stripe down the middle but this is white in gta so just kept it as that the tally rsx I'm surprised this is a sports car though. You would think it's a supercar, but it's classified as sports in this game. So I just put it with the rest of these. This one, my R32, the LG Retro. Um, haven't really touched that ever since. Actually I have, but over the years, I kind of slimmed it down. Less and less of uh, modifications, kind of made it a little more realistic. Uh, and then my C8, so we got my C8.R track build, uh, and then my like street build still kind of really modified but yeah in rapid blue and now on the last floor this is uh, a few cars also from last year's uh, summer update that 
got a few new modifications for. So here's my Vantage wide body. It was one of those cars that I just built along the way, honestly, and it just came out perfectly and haven't really changed much ever since. This is my Vantage F1 edition in Aston Martin Racing Green, so it matches my Wagner and my Aston Martin F1 car. Um, if you guys do remember though, this used to be my F1 car garage, same with the Wagner, but I kind of swapped things around, so we'll get to that later on and you guys will see. 770 as an F12 and Largo. Um, but I do remember one of you guys said that it was supposed to be, or no, 177, hence the name, yeah, that's why. They said that which yeah it does make sense but now i'm thinking i might change this to a 177 might need to redo that after this video uh these two i really like my m3 gts in the orange this got new parts from last summer so it was perfect time to do this the sentinel xs and not really expensive car you can even i'm pretty sure you can steal it off the street i think that's what i did the schwarzer in solar beam yellow as the c63 black series so sick i absolutely love how it came out with the big track wing the fenders are stock uh but you were able to do the hood as the black series so it was perfect and then this i got all i did a little bit more modifications from last year's update as well did a different ducktail carbon fiber uh same with the hood and maybe i think different front splitter yeah so those are my two c63s and then my raiden as a uh, tesla model s all right, now we're in the last garage of Maze Bank. This is kind of like my miscellaneous uh, garage with my muscle cars, hatchbacks, SUVs, uh, what else, weaponized, and the coupe class, like in-game coupe. I always say Monte Carlo probably does have little bits of uh, Monte Carlo, but I'm pretty sure mainly I base it off of a, a GNX. Um, haven't really touched it much. Um, my Ellie, the uh, Eleanor, which is supposed to be the GT500, I absolutely love this car. Uh, and then my Duco Death. I have not done a thing to it. Also, rarely drive. It's probably easily top 10 cars that I do not drive. My Dominator GTX. I wish there was a little bit better customization on this car. I feel like it's like it's too GTA-like. I don't think they did much customization from like real life parts or stuff like that. Maybe now I can probably do like a S650 Dark Horse. That's probably a possibility. Uh, here's my Gulf, my BF Club. Kind of kept it low key. Uh, and then my Baller. Second floor, we got my Wraith, white on white. Uh, my weaponized Tampa. Yeah, uh, this was actually pretty good during the bunker days when the bunker first came out. I think that was what, 2017? This was really good. And my Virgo, this car sounds so sick and looks sinister as well, like a mafia boss type car. Um, I'm not too sure what it's supposed to be based on actually, so I'd actually like to know. Here, this actually used to be in my supercar garage, the Vigilante, but it's kind of weaponized. So I added it in here and you guys will see on the third floor, I got a bunch of space still. So I got room here, I can add more cars. My Urus, my Shafter V12, and my Mamba. I love how this came out. Like a dark blue with a lighter pearlescent. Shelby, Cobra. So sick. And it sounds really nice. And then, yeah, literally a third floor is what I'm talking about. I got probably, how many spaces are on each floor actually? Eight, I think, or something? I'm not too sure. Um, Got my Rolls Royce Dawn or the Windsor Drop. But yeah, that's my Maze Bank garages. I'm not too sure what's next, so we will move on now all right so we're in my facility uh and it's got what seven spots yeah so only seven cars in here um briefly go by all of them my yosemite my strider um and then these two are new well this one i've always had my m3 e30 uh so that backwards but anyways uh having like a baby blue uh, and bbs wheels uh no window tint just kind of kept it clean and crispy um, and then this one's the wide body E30 M3, the Sentinel classic wide body. So kind of made it more like a DTM type build um, with like the huge like 190E type wing. Big fenders, turbo fans, front splitter, uh, BMW livery. Well, only two colors from the BMW colors, but and then the interior is completely white. So kept it as all white, white on white. We come on the other side, we just got the three cars here. So my Safari Comet, I think I changed this from last year, just white on white. Um, my Hustler, someone actually said uh, that it belongs in the facility because that's when this came out, the Doomsday Heist. 
which I actually did not know. Um, so again, thank you for that. So I put it in here because I moved my APC into my off-road garage, which meant I have one more space in here. Um, and then my absolutely confusing uh, pariah because from the front, it's got like Dodge Viper elements, it's got the grill, it's got the ACR stripe this is ocelot so i'm not too sure this is supposed to be like a zagato i believe maybe i just made it like a confusing viper so yeah that's my facility let's move on all right so we're in my nightclub just on like the nightclub first level floor just got my kind of awkward that they got one spot here like they can easily fit other spots here but anyways just have my um jester classic jester the supra i think the only thing i've changed is the wheels i believe these like cosmo mark Mark something I forget, but uh, yeah, that's the only thing I done with it. Let's go to I think my F1 car garage. Yeah, my F1 car garage. Look at that view, just like right when you open through the elevator doors. Boom, that window right there. Really sick view. But yeah, uh, let's let's go from the right to left. Yeah, so this is my Aston Martin AMR 21, I believe. This is I think this is when they came out or 2020, but I based it off the 2021 chassis. Michael Schumacher's uh, 2002, uh, and then Ferrari's SF21. I changed this, so I did the matte glitch or matte paint, so kind of has that like satin finish on it. Um, and then I changed the livery so I can have the uh, front wing be black. And it's a lot less sponsoring on it, you can tell, but I think that's probably because it's the closest livery you can do with the black front sweater. I think it didn't come out that bad. Uh, here's my Lotus, my 98T R88 uh, with the black and gold livery. It just came out perfect. I gotta drive them more often. This is my McLaren MCL35. Uh, haven't changed. This is what Ayrton Senna drove, the, M the McLaren MP4 slash uh, four, or you can even include as slash six, I guess. And then this is Lewis Hamilton's F1 car, the first year he debuted in Formula One, the Mercedes McLaren MP4 uh, 23, was it, or 26? I can't remember. It's the one with chrome and red, but I can't do chrome because uh, delivery, it's basically invisible, like you cannot see it once you put chrome, so I just said silver. You can still kind of tell it's supposed to be that car but it's not like 100 accurate so that's what i can do in gta and this is uh the w i believe w11 was the very last year you were able to do with this chassis and then the red bull rb13 that's my f1 car garage uh let's move on to my hoonigan garage brand new so here is my hoonigan garage um so long story short i basically already had all these cars they were just separated throughout the map. Um, and because of Ken Block's passing earlier this year, I was like, why not? Might as well put them all together, kind of in his dedication as well. So made sense, and I think it was appropriate to do so. So here we got the Huna Pegasus, it goes up Pike Peak. And then here we basically got uh, the three Holy Trinities. Um, so we got the Gymkhana 10, Port Focus, the Unicorn, and the Huna Truck. With the white wheels and this is actually supposed to be the version one unicorn so this is when it had the bronze wheels uh because the v2 version has twin turbos uh kind of sticking out like the hooner truck but i wish you could put on there but yeah that's my hoonigan garage let's move on to my bugatti garage and here is my bugatti garage i think it's yeah pretty much the same as last year got my three base specs chiron so we got my blue carbon fiber with red interior, my full white and black wheels, Chiron, and then my blue Electrico Chiron. Then this one back here, classic, the Adder World Record Edition spec, my Gran Turismo Bugatti, um, which is the custom, right? Yeah, Nero custom with the big rear wing. And then uh, the Drax as a Devo based on a real life spec called a ladybug. But yeah, that's my, that's all my nightclub garages. Um, so let's go to the next. The next garage is my um, arena wars or arena garage. Still haven't, I this is probably my least touched garage and I don't plan on filling it cause I still got a few more spaces down there. Uh, yeah, this is like all that I'm probably gonna have. So on this side, we got my AMG GTs. Here's the GTR and Green Hell Magno. 
with the matte glitch. Um, so it kind of have the satin color. Uh, and then my back by beam orange AMG GT black series. Absolutely loved how this came out. Pretty similar to Sebring Orange or my Camaro, which you guys will see later on. Uh, here's my Nova, almost, but I believe it's supposed to be based off of Nova. Kind of full out drag build, wheelie bar, drag wing, stripped interior with the roll cage. Uh, and then, yeah, this side, my 190Z with the Fujiwara wheels, the six exhaust coming out the hood chocolate brown interior loved how this came out and then we got my itali gto right yeah as the 812 super fast still really messed up uh rosa corsa so i haven't changed that ever since last year i brought it up yeah that's my arena wars garage let's go to the next one all right so here is my casino garage i removed a car and added two i think um last year so let's start my not a great rs5 my dodge demons so this is my street dodge demon that i've kept uh same as ever since i bought it uh and then my new dodge demon 170 uh spec and so i always had it as a drag build but might as well have it as the last dodge demon uh that's going to be in production pretty similar close wheels to like the demons and the chargers red eyes stuff like that we we'll check out the middle last Here's my jugular um, as the Project 8. Just saw one over the weekend, actually. So I'll upload that video in the next few days, probably this weekend. So be sure to be on the lookout for a vlog, a really nice cars of coffee coming to you. Here we got the, what was this called again? The Krieger as an AMG 1. Um, I moved this from my F1 car garage into here. So I put that there. This is my... British Racing Green Bentley Continental with the tan interior uh, and armored. And then my new E24 M6 with uh, dark blue BBS wheels, closest BBS wheels. Those are Cosmos, I believe. Loves how it turned out. That's brand new. Here is my Santa GTR uh, and then my Zero Russo. This build I'm like iffy about. I never really was proud of it. That's kind of just whatever. And then my regular. Then, uh, uh, next might be, might be my arcade. All right. So yeah, I was right. The arcade is up next. Basically, if you guys are wondering, I go on the order that just shows when I call my mechanic. So I know which garage uh, I've showed and which one I haven't. Obviously I would know, but just to keep, tra keep track and make it easier. Um, but yeah, the arcade is next. So here we got my two type R's, EK9s. So this one, I've always had my drag, uh, EK9 with the exposed turbo and yellow carbon fiber fenders. Um, and then this one's brand new because I moved my Huna truck from this garage into my Hoonigan garage in the nightclub. So I had an extra space obviously i still have spaces down there but but the good thing is or the cool thing is that this isn't stock it's upgraded in game wise to look stock in real life which i love that concept but yeah i got the white wheels like the ek9 civic type r in real life in white as well here's my viola hong kong uh pariah or furia the white stripes down the middle gold wheels made this look like a Ferrari 488 piece to spec, one I absolutely love in real life. Um, my Julia, kind of like I'm not like obsessed with it. It's kind of whatever. My X5M, love those wheels. Uh, my other, my newer Civic, uh, in yellow with the red interior. And then last but not least, my CTSV with the I think these are dark ivory wheels. Super nice spec. Kind of made it look look like a street build, drag build, sporty. All mixed together but yeah that's my arcade let's move on to my auto shop all right here is my auto shop basically the same cars that i've always had yeah so we got my uh common s2s three of them one of them as my miami blue 9n1.2 gt3 rs next up we got my 9n2 uh, gt3 touring with no wing uh, I changed these wheels recently i believe they're in the street class uh in a dark blue with the, the roof rack, roof storage, uh, and then like a chocolate brown interior. Nice gentleman spec, I would say. And then here we just got my regular 992 uh, Turbo S. Um, next to it, we got my, I believe it's Masano Blue or is it San Marino Blue? I got mixed up between the two, the M2 CS. The other one's on the M4 CS, got mixed up. But yeah, 
Got champagne wheels. Love how this came out. On the other side, we got my Dominator G ASP uh, as an SN95 Mustang or Cobra. Um, this one I changed last year, probably like right after I made my 2022 garage tour, I think. Um, unless I had this last year, I don't remember, but pretty sure I changed it after that. Um, it's supposed to be a GT4 RS in racing yellow. The carbon fiber hood, the uh, louvers on the fenders. Really nice how it came out, just obviously not the small neck wing. Got my Rally Spec 22B, my two RCFs, one in midnight purple with like the Pandem wide body kit, and then my track edition with the carbon fiber hood and wing with the red interior. Yeah, I this garage is pretty nice. I like how it came out. But yeah, that's my auto shop. Let's move on to, I believe, the agency. All right, so yeah, we are in my agency. Um, this floor is my, like, the contract DLC floor. Um, so I have no room to add any more cars if I wanted to. Let's start my Lacan, which I think I call the Cayenne. Um, the Astron is what it's called in the game. This one I did the matte glitch with Miami Blue. Uh, next to it, we got my Baller ST, yeah. Which is supposed to be the Range Rover Sport SVR. And there's really no difference, honestly, between the two, but they'll kept this one just a little more realistic than the other. Um, here we got my charger, the Buffalo STX. Made it as like a bright blue that I saw once at the 2020 auto show here in Toronto. Super vibrant color and really pops for far away. Uh, recently changed this color to that, so I'm glad I did. Here we got my Victor, uh, the champion is called what it is in game, but Aston Martin victor uh with it's like black with the green pearlescent so i'm gonna keep it as that uh, and then my comet s2 cabrio with like the wine red spec um on the other side we got my a bentley a deity uh with like a it's like a dark blue the lighter blue pearlescent um this one's new my granger or granger 3600 xl or lx yeah, which is supposed to be like a Chevrolet Suburban. Um, kind of made it like a presidential uh, spec or build. So we got like the off-road wheels, the front bull bar, the rear bumper bar. And yeah, I, I don't know. I just had the brave to get this car for a little while and then I eventually did. I was going to do that or buy another Sion, which is the Ingus. So this one's just a launch spec Sion. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to go check that out. Um, this is my Cullinan, white on white, same as my Wraith. Uh, and then my SSE to Atara in the world record uh, attempt spec with the like two arrow wings, I guess. Kind of weird, but looks pretty cool. We go down below now, Criminal Enterprise DLC uh, garage. Some of them are also split out uh, other places, which we'll go check out after. So here is my MC20, but kind of made it look like a, has a little kit on it, the rear wing, that splitter. My two M3 Tourings, one in Isle of Man green uh, with, I don't think these are gold wheels, it's like a sand and color uh, wheels uh, to match the interior as well. True gentleman European spec, I would say. You wouldn't really see any of these here in North America, well, let alone the M3 Touring isn't sold in North America. Um, and then we got my street build, slammed uh stance build i guess whatever you want to call it i forget this color name but yeah deep dish wheels uh storage up on top and yeah super sick the way it rolls with the tire stickers on the side next to it we got my slr sterling moss the sm722 which hence sterling moss 722 the time in the mili milia uh here we got my kumtosh the new one the torero xo if you guys haven't seen that video but basically the way i think the new Kuntosh should have looked kind of resembling uh, parts from the older original Kuntosh. Uh, and on the other side, we got my other Kuntosh in a dark red with the stock wheels in white and white interior. Um, I just love how this color pops, but this color, I actually have it uh, on one of my shorts videos. If you guys want to go check that out, basically show off how I make all of these uh, custom crew colors and I use this car as a canvas pretty much um, and then lastly in this garage we got my ZL1 1LE in like a bright fiery orange technically you can probably classify it as C-ring orange but this I think is more 
vibrant, more highlighter orange. How much customization on this card and how many different builds you can replicate. You can do regular SS, you can do ZL1. Really cool. Yeah, that's my criminal enterprise garage. Uh, so now let's go to my last place, which is the new 50 car garage. All right, so here's my 50 car garage first uh, floor because there's five of them. None of them are filled. Only the first two have cars in them, including this one and uh, the next one. So this is the most recent cars in this game. So we got my uh, Tacoma Tundra NASCAR uh, Hot Ring Evron. Uh, made that a video. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. Here's my Willard Eudora, which earlier in this video, I was mentioning the Peyote in Flamingo Pink or in Miami Blue. And this is what I was talking about. Kept this in Miami Blue and that Peyote in Flamingo Pink. Also made a video on that. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. Here is my Konosek Yesco Absolute, which is a top speed version. So no wing, basically the two shark fins on the rear deck lid, uh, kind of aero disc wheels for uh, efficient cooling and aero dynamics for top speed. Um, all black with the orange and stripe down the middle, which is the same crew color as that one, the attack version. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah, the front of it is supposed to be the Regera. The rear, I guess, is the Yesco. Um, but the front still looks pretty nice. So yeah, here's my attack, which is the track version uh, in bright orange. I notice I have a lot of bright orange cards, but I don't do that on purpose. No roof. Uh, removal roof, kind of like a target top, I guess. You could store it in the front, I guess. I don't even know how you store it in real life. I'm pretty sure you do store it in the front trunk. Uh, and then, yeah, the big rear wing, which I'm really happy you were able to do. Uh, and then here's my Nissan Z and Grace Red. Uh, not too much customization done on this, and not that I really cared to, because in real life, I'm not that big of a fan of it. Yeah, let's move on to this, the Alpine A110R which is the race version. So we've got the French flag going down the middle, carbon fiber hood, matte blue, uh, with like ultra blue pearlescent, uh, and a swan neck wing, uh, and black roof, which I think came out pretty nice. This is the free car, the Tahoma Coupe, yeah, which I think is supposed to be a uh, Monte Carlo from either 70s, I believe. Nothing much, too much to talk, say about that. I have not driven that at all and don't really care too much about it. It was free at the end of the day, but it's still. Uh, and then lastly, we got my Lotus Evaya in gold and black. Uh, love how this car came out. And yeah, if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to go check that out. And yeah, so the last two cars in my whole collection. This is my Mercedes Sauber C9. Uh, ever since this car came in this game, I absolutely fell in love with it. Handles super well, uh, and sounds, looks really cool. Same with it in real life. Uh, and then next we've got my long tail F1, uh, GTR. Uh, this is supposed to be the Gulf livery, but this is the closest you can do. The orange wheels to match the pinstriping around the car. Uh, and this gray part is supposed to be blue, but can't do that. Uh, and then in black rest of the car but yeah i was planning to have this garage as like track endurance type cars non-street legal but in gta it's anything street legal honestly yeah that's my collection in gta 5 for 2023 again thank you guys for all the support uh from this year and from last year's video if you guys haven't seen last year's video i'll have it in the description down below if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like so I know that you guys do want to continue seeing this yearly. Um, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.